in today's Zoom session, which was Monday, October 26th, um, we looked at um, some counting technique practice. And this is a continuation of that. Um, I promised those that attended that I would talk through the remaining problems that we didn't get to um, during our class time and explain how to do them. So here is your first video. We're gonna cover numbers seven through 10. Um, so for the first one, you are being dealt cards from a deck. So remember the first key, um, anytime you're gonna do counting techniques is you need to figure out whether order matters or whether order does not matter, okay? In this case, if we're being dealt cards from a deck, it does not matter what order you are given the cards, okay? If you are dealt the ace of hearts, for example, whether you were dealt at first or whether you were dealt at fourth makes no difference it still ends up in your hand of cards, okay? So order does not matter. That's what that's going to represent there. Order does not matter. So we need um, three red and we need two black cards. When order doesn't matter, we're going to use combinations and we're gonna use two combinations because we have two categories, if you will, of, of things. We have red things and we have black things that we need to take care of. So when it comes to the red cards, there are 26 red cards available. We are going to be dealt three of them. So we want three red cards. When it comes to the black cards, there are 26 cards available. We are going to be dealt two. And as a reminder, um, that and there in the middle, okay, the and tells us we should be multiplying. So when we multiply those values together, we get a total of 845,000 different three red, two black card hands that could be dealt to us. Um, for number eight, um, for his senior sax recital, Nate is performing seven songs and how many ways can he arrange the songs for his performance? So here, it might be one of those where you're like, oh, it doesn't matter, he's gonna play them all anyway. But it really does matter, okay? If you, um, if you are a musician or if you have anything that you have ever performed, for example, um, a dance or, you know, a play or whatever, there are certain things that are maybe better than others. They always say, like, save the best for last. Um, it could be a matter of, you know, which one he's more comfortable with. He likes the slow. He likes the fast better. Um, there's always a strategy for how you can arrange it. And as someone listening, you could tell the difference too between the different musical numbers, okay? It's not as if playing one before the other, nobody would notice if you switched them around. They would notice because the songs are different. So in this one, order does matter. Okay, I'm gonna do ODM for that. So when order matters, I wanna think of blanks, like how many ways do I have to fill each of these spots? So when it comes to picking song number one, Okay, and he's got his seven different pieces available. He has seven choices for what he plays first. Once he decide what song he's going to play first, he's going to choose what song he plays next. Um, and in this case, he would have six remaining choices for what he plays next. For song number three, he would have five remaining choices. And this pattern will continue because every time he picks a song and puts it in the repertoire, in the lineup, he's got one less choice from before. This, if you don't want to type all of that out the long way, is the same thing as seven factorial. A factorial means start at, in this case, seven, and multiply every number below seven until you get down to one and stop. So it just saves you a few little button pushes. So seven factorial is 5,040. Um, number nine, six freshmen and five sophomores are lined up for a photo. In how many ways can the sophomores be seated in the first five chairs? So again, I can tell the difference between the kids, right? Unless you have 11 identical um, people, you're not, you know, your order is going to matter, all right? Maybe you don't want to sit by somebody because they, you know, they stink, or maybe you just don't like that person. Maybe you really want to sit next to somebody. They're your best friend or whatever. So the order will make a difference, okay? Plus, again, as someone looking at the picture, you can tell. So we're going to put the sophomores in the first five chairs. And then we're gonna put the freshmen in the next six. So when it comes to the sophomores, um, if they've all, they're all standing there next to you, you have five different choices as to who you could say, please go sit in the first chair. 
And once they sit down, you have four choices as to who could be next, and then three, and then two, and then one. And now we're gonna have our freshmen sit. So there would be six choices for who you sat down first, and then five, four, three, two, one. Um, if you wanna shortcut that on your calculator, that's five factorial times six factorial. That'll be a little faster. Um, and I get 86,400. And uh, number 10, very similar, except now we want to alternate by class. So this is another one where order does matter. Nine, ten. We've got 11 people to sit down. Um, since we have to alternate by class, notice because there are six freshmen and five sophomores, we have to start with a freshman. If we start with a sophomore, we'll end up with two freshmen next to each other at the end of the row. So this has to be a freshman and this has to be a sophomore, freshman, sophomore, etc. as we go down the way. Um, so if we just want to look at the freshman blanks, the every other one, for the freshmen, you would have six options for who sits in the first chair designated for freshmen, then five options, then four, three, two, one. And again, we're skipping every other seat to allow those for sophomores. Um, I will point out that that calculation right there is a six factorial. Then when it comes to the sophomores, you have five choices and then four, three, two, one, and so those red numbers there that I just filled in, that is the same as five factorial, and so this is the exact same number of options as in number nine.